What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. So today I have Iowa Legendary. Now, this distillery was established in 2014. Their first release was in November of 2017. So they've only been around four or five years at this point. They make five different labels. One of them is a vodka. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna focus on their rye whiskey. First one is the white label, AKA the white dog. This is 100% small batch rye. The ABV is 40 or it has a proof of 80. Batch number on here is 118 and this is bottle seven. This one retails for $20. Then we have the red label. Once again, 100% rye, small batch, 40 ABV, 80 proof. This one is batch number 38, bottle 55. This one retails for $50. Then the black label. This is a double barrel private reserve. Once again, 40 ABV, 80 proof, batch 124. And this is bottle 41. This one retails for $39. And then the big bad boy, the purple label. This is 100% small batch rye and the ABV on here is 60.6 or it has a proof of 121.2. This is batch four and bottle seven. Now this one retails for $200. Now this packaging is really good. I would give it a B plus. It describes everything. I love that they have the batch number and the bottle number. All the information is on here. Just good packaging overall. Let's look at the tasting notes, but before that, do you wanna taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will send you my free 17-page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. But not only that, if you'd like to get a sober hat or a sexy sober t-shirt, once you have that in your cart, please put the promo code IMOBG and shipping will be free since it's on me. All right, let's jump into the Iowa Legendary. We're gonna start with the white dog. On the color, clear. On the nose, flower aromas from the fermented rye like fresh bread yeast eau de vie this is just a clean spirit that has tons of aromas from a quality mash on the mouthfeel nice clean white dog that delivers a clean burn that is sweet in layers of the rye this has a long finish has the spicy rye delivers a lot of the layers this is really solid but i'm usually not a big fan of white dog but this one actually really stands out and for 20 dollars this is really high quality. I'm really impressed here. This was so good. The spiciness of this rye was just out of control. Really, really good. Good job. All right, let's jump to the red label. On the collar, bright gold. On the nose, sweet cherry oak notes that deliver yellow and red fruit with light hints of cinnamon. This has some smoke, but it's subtle in its ways. On the mouthfeel, this is delicate and there is a lot going on in here as the spicy rye just keeps on coming with layers of oak that are smoky. The red label is really good. First of all, this isn't sweet like most rye. This is super, super spicy, which I absolutely love. They've done, again, an excellent job of the rye that they're using, how they're fermenting it and how they're distilling. The spiciness across the two are impressive. All right, let's do the black label. On the color, light yellow. On the nose, light yellow fruit, guava, fig. The smoke is there, but the oak layers are there too, hanging out at the back. On the mouthfeel, this has a lot of similarities with the white dog. This has some spiciness, but then it delivers a long complex finish from the rye that the oak attaches itself to. This is so good. Again, flashback of the white dog. So many white dog notes from the first one out of the lineup, but then you had all these oak layers that attached themselves to it that gave it even more complexity with the smoke intermixed in there. This was delicious. All right, let's move on to the crazy big bad boy, the barrel proof. On the color, rich, deep amber. On the nose, high intensity, since this is high in alcohol. Some redwood, red apples, cherry, oak, caramel, into complex smoky layers. On the mouthfeel, this has some serious intensity as the high alcohol makes the spicy rye go even harder on this one. This is so packed tight and it delivers a serious complexity finish when it comes to the oak layers. The spiciness of the rye just keeps on delivering the high alcohol intensity. This was delicious. Extremely impressed. The link on here was mind blowing. 
I put three drops of water out of the gate. Then I had to taste it again to see if it would open up a little bit more and it did. So I added three more drops of water and by then it was really showing its pure potential and character. This was really good. All right, let's do a recap. We're gonna start with the White Dog Small Batch Rye. This is a buy for $20. You can't really beat that. This was absolutely delicious. You should go and get a bottle just so you understand how good it is, especially for $20. Then we have the Red Label. This was also a buy. This was really good. It had plenty of layers of complexity. And for $50, supporting a craft distillery, then yes, all day, please do that. Then we have the Black Label. This was a reminiscent of the White Dog that I previously had at the start. This is also a buy. This was so good. It had the oak layers, the smokiness on one side, and on the other side, you had the white dog and all those Eau de Vie tasting notes at the same time, all intermixed. This was so good. And then finally, the purple label. This is a buy if you have $200 laying around. This is a small craft distillery. That's the only reason why I would say, yeah, if you have $200 laying around and you wanna support somebody, then yes, this is worth it. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to smash that like button, go down there, subscribe. Don't forget to share, comment, tell your friends, everybody. All right, and please remember my friend, stay sober, peace.